the federal judge has denied the state's motion to stay the federal ruling that Governor Wolf's pandemic restrictions are unconstitutional. It's a defeat for Governor Wolf. He was hoping to retain limits on crowd size. Let's go live to KDKA's Megan Schiller. She just interviewed one small business owner who says she risked it all to join the lawsuit. Megan. This business owner is from Waynesburg, Greene County, just a small town hair salon, her entire livelihood. And she tells me tonight that she's proud that she risked it all and she won this round. The one page judgment came down Tuesday afternoon. Judge William Stickman saying, quote, there is no just reason for delay, meaning his ruling from last week still stands and some of Governor Tom Wolf's restrictions are deemed unconstitutional. I'm very excited, so I hope it means a lot more than what I even know right now. So as soon as we get done with this interview, I'm going to be finding out from the mm -hmm. attorney. Salon owner Kathy Hoskins is a plaintiff on the case, and she's now celebrating inside Classy Cuts in Waynesburg. Had a lot of good people, you know, helping us and rooting for us to win, and it's been great, you know, it's been great. I just hope that this continues. Governor Tom Wolf seemed unfazed Tuesday, saying two of the three restrictions, the stay at home order and business closures, haven't seen any play in months. And he said this past Friday night proved people care about gathering limits. There, there are very few schools, if any, that, that, that had, you know, big, big crowds at, at, their, at their events. People in Pennsylvania have shown that they don't want to get this disease and they're going to do a lot of things like wearing masks. They're going to do a lot of things like practicing social distancing and staying away from crowds. The governor's office also telling me that they are disappointed by the judge's decision and they do still plan to file that appeal. Reporting live tonight, Megan Schiller, KDK News.